This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Let's look at a few default charts and see how we can make some changes to elements such as the title and the legends on these charts. Now when I say default, here's what I mean. When I created this chart, I told it what type of chart to be and then I have all the defaults, the default colors and all of the elements. So first of all, I notice it says chart title. I don't want it to say chart title. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on chart title. Notice how my mouse changes to an I-beam. Go ahead and highlight whatever you want to change. Now for me, I want to change everything on this chart title, but you might only want to change a, a bit or a piece of it. Also notice that, oh, isn't this nice? The nice little shortcut pops up, so you can also do some formatting while you're here. So I want to make it bold, and I want to make it size 16. Now the font is still selected, so now I can say, oh, now look what I accidentally did. I didn't mean to do this, but here's a good example of what could happen. My mouse, when your mouse is the shape of an eye, anytime your mouse is the shape of an eye, it means type. And what I accidentally did is I had the font size selected. Look, the cursor is flashing in the font size. So when I started typing, because I had just used that particular feature, it remained the active area. So I just have to bring my mouse back down here and reselect to change that active area. So sorry I made that error, but it's a good example of what could happen to you as well. All right, well, I can't type and talk, so let me just type. There we go. So now I've changed my title to say yearly sales, and I'm much, much happier with that. I want you to also notice over here to the right, this little plus sign. This is a new feature inside of Excel 2013, and it allows you customization, very fast and very easy customizations. It allows you to add elements. So when I click on the plus sign, interestingly enough, the plus sign is on the right side of the chart, but the chart elements pop up over here to the left. If I decide I don't want something or I do want something, I can turn it on and off. Now remember, the chart title says yearly sales. I'm gonna pop it off of there. But oh no, I really do want a chart title, so I'll click it back on and it goes back to the default. So once again, I would have to go in and change it to say yearly sales. But you already know how to do that, so I'm not going to do that right now. Also, you can turn off the legend. So you can just click the legend and turn it off. Notice how the chart adjusts and fills up the space, or you can turn the legend back on. Well, you also have arrows over to the right, and anytime you see an arrow, click on it. It's going to give you choices. So this one says, well, where would you like the legend? The right, the top, the left, the bottom, and it allows you even more options, which then opens up a pane over to the right and gives you all of the options that are available. Now I like it at the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and place it back at the bottom. A lot of people like it at the right though. Let me drag this over so you can, ooh, I accentally grabbed the wrong part. Let me hit Control Z. I tend to do that a lot, right? Practice what I preach there and grab the, the border. Make sure you move it with the border. Now you can see my legend over here to the right. And I think I like that a lot better. When I'm finished with the chart, you just click the X I didn't mean to say chart. When you're finished with those options, you just click the X and they disappear. Well, if I decide I don't want a legend, remember, just click, hit delete, and the legend's not even there any longer. Ah, oh, I changed my mind though. Easy, you just click the plus sign. Oh, now, look, it popped up over here on the right. Here's where your charting elements are going to show up, where they fit. The reason they showed up on the left the first time is because they fit on the left side, but now I have room over to the right for that to flow off to the right. And now I can say I want my legend on and I can tell it where I want it to show up and I want it to show up on the bottom. So you see it's quite easy to add elements and remove chart elements. Same thing just before we leave over here on the chart that takes up an entire piece of paper. As long as the chart is selected, you have that same little plus and you can do the same features. For instance, I want a chart title, but I do not want the legend, or yes I do, I want the legend, and I can decide where I want it. Now before I leave here, I want to make sure that I come into the chart title, click, drag, change my chart title, yearly sales. Now this time I'm going to click on the border of yearly sales 
because on the Home tab, you can use your Home tab to format also. So for instance, I'm going to use that to increase and turn it bold and italicize it, and that's my new look for my title. Well, remember over here? Remember this? What you're going to get with the arrow on this side in the More Options is you're going to get all kinds of formatting features. Look at all these formatting features that are available for you. So I'm not actually going to go in and use these features because once you play with these, you're going to say, oh, that was easy. I sure do like all of those new formats that are out there for my chart title. But now you can insert, delete, and you can see how fast it is to insert and how fast it is to delete. And you can format elements such as the chart title and the legend. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.